Hey everybody, Sam here. Athens Archery and Tap. You guys have seen it, I know, on social media. We are big proponents of Athens. We love their bows. We sell their bows. And I wanted to do a comparison side-by-side -side speed check. See what the 2018 Altitude, the 2019 Ridge 34, and the 2019 Ridge 32 can do on speeds through the chronograph. Shoot the same arrow. Bows are set up very similarly. Uh, I'll explain the specs on them. Ridge 32 is 65 pound draw weight. We have 80% uh, let off. The draw length is 28. I'm actually about 27, 27 and a half, but um, we're, gonna, we're gonna shoot it at 28. This is a demo bow that we have here now for people to test and 28 seemed like a pretty ideal uh, number to have it at for, for the most uh, part, for the majority of people. So we have the Ridge 34 though, set at 70 pounds, 80% let off, 27 inch draw. And the altitude is 70% uh, let off, 70 pounds, 27 inch draw. You can find out the specs on our website, titaniumarcheryproducts.com if you wanna know more. Take a look at our bundles. We offer tapped out bows like this. They have the cable guard, they have the string stop. One thing about the cable guard that I should point out it's not just about speed and vibration control, it's also about adjustability. This cable guard, by loosening one set screw, you can apply pressure to the uh, coupler block, and then the coupler block can rotate in or out, and you can adjust the amount of tension you have on your cables. And uh, that's a nice little feature. It makes it easier to adjust for fletching clearance, and it's easier to adjust than the stock cable guard would be. So. I'll run a quick test, shoot these bows, we'll shoot an arrow with each, and then I can report what I see on the chronograph to you. And uh, we'll find out. We'll find out if these bows are in the same ballpark. It's about a 380 grain arrow. Athens Archery is really a you know, phenomenal company. The bows are great shooters. They're quiet. They're the things people want. Uh, people, I think, perhaps place too much emphasis on uh, what they perceive to be dead in the hand and lack of hand vibration and those types of things. I don't get that sense from these bows at all that they have any. Uh, if it is, it's very minimal and certainly with our products, uh, it's not really that detectable. How that's perceived by different people though can vary. And um, personally, I just don't see that as an issue at all with these bows and in general with modern compounds I just don't really feel it's that big of an issue what, whatsoever. Uh, when it comes to accuracy, there's no impact on accuracy from, from that particular issue. Now, if it's very pronounced, uh, very exaggerated, sure, uh, you know, you don't, you don't want that. But uh, my focus with this company, my focus in the bows that I pick, it's about consistency, repeatability, accuracy on target. How quiet is it? How much uh, uh, confidence does it inspire in me? The 2018 Altitude, for example. Killed four deer with it last year, including my biggest buck to date with a bow. And I just have a natural level of affection now for that bow, and it gives me confidence. Uh, it's gonna be tough to pry me away from it for this hunting season, but given that we're, you know, that we're a dealer for them, and that we are, I've been shooting these bows extensively, uh, it's, it's all you know very likely you'll see me with the Ridge 32 or possibly the Ridge 34 in the woods this year so let's go ahead and take a shot I'll make sure I stand back a sufficient distance here put myself at the same spot line up with this post here now we got a 291.5 and that's a very similar impact point to the Ridge 34, which would confirm my suspicion that they really should be about the same. And the altitude is, was rated as about a 342 IBO bow. 340 on the Ridge 32, definitely right in the ballpark where it should be given that the 70% let off is what the altitude has, 80% on the Ridge 32 to get that impact point that I got with the Ridge 32.
There we go. Now we got 289. So those slight fluctuations, you definitely see them. And that would give me about the same impact point as the Ridge 32 on the target. And uh, over the years, I found that that is the most accurate readings I'm getting at that location. So I'm going to say 291, Ridge 32, about 289, 290 with the Ridge 34. Very, uh, very consistent performance. Happy with that. 295 out of the altitude. And uh, again, that was a little bit high. So, eh. Gonna be, it's not too hard to convince me to throw another arrow down range. So let's do that with the altitude. And with this uh, no sight setup, let's see if we can get right impact you really want about roughly at the top of that white circle there a little high 297.8 um, it's definitely a considerably faster boat regardless of where you put it but I'd say 295 uh, was was the best number we got out of that one. 